Okay, Assalamualaikum and give me the cane. So, this lesson will be uh, on the analysis on the current of the inductor IL. Okay, so based on the our previous lesson on the bulk converter, so we can actually draw the uh, waveform of the voltage across the inductor, which is the VL, uh, during turn on and turn off uh, like this. So this is uh, during turn on and this is during the switch turn off. Okay. <coughs> Should be a uh, square. Okay, sorry for this one. Square with a square too. Okay, so this is during turn on and this is during turn off. Okay, the value of the voltage here uh, during the, the KVL analysis actually VD my, VDC minus V out and during the turn off the PL is actually negative V out. Okay, <coughs> and we have already know that during turn on our change of IL during turn on is actually equal to VDC minus V out over L multiplied with DT. So this is a positive. You know? So positive means that the inductor current is actually ramp from a minimum value into uh, its maximum value. So this point we call I mean and this point we call I max okay and we also have already uh, know that delta il the change of il during turn off is actually negative v out over l multiplied with one minus d t right so this is negative meaning that the inductor current is ramping down from maximum to the same minimum value okay so during turn on the current inductor is charging so it will charge and then during the turn off the current will be discharged okay to so its minimum value and this is actually period from this is full cycle which is equal to one of your frequency switching of the switch Okay, so this cycle will be actually repeated again and again. Okay. Okay, so since we have the current inductor is actually uh, changed from minimum to maximum, minimum to maximum repeatedly and in the cyclic way, so meaning that we have what we call an average value. So this is the average value. We call this one IL average. Okay. So IL average is actually at the center between maximum and minimum value. So from here I can say that I max. Okay. So this is actually minimum to maximum. So from minimum to maximum, this is actually the delta IL. Okay. So IMAX can be calculated uh, based on IL average plus delta IL over 2. You should note that I, delta IL on is actually equal to delta IL off and this is actually equal to the general delta IL okay so you can use any and uh, you can use uh, this one delta IL, IL on or delta IL off is no problem because the value is the same so and then I mean is also you can calculate by using IL average minus delta IL over two. So this is actually the analysis on the inductor current. So we have maximum and minimum. 
and we have also the high L average. So to calculate the maximum, we just need to use this equation and for the minimum also need to use this equation. But right now, uh, what is the value? What is the equation? What is the equation for high L average? Okay, so for the, to derive the equation for I L average, what you need to do is to see the circuit here. So this is I C, okay, and this is I dot, and this is I L, okay. So I can right now the K C L is actually I L is equal to I out plus I C. And we know that I out is a DC current, which is V out over R. So, in other words, we can say that this I out is your I L average. Okay. So, uh, in a waveform, I can write down, I can draw. So, this is your I out. A DC current, the value is V out over R. Okay, and this is your IC, which is RAM positive. So all the ripple of the inductor current will go to the IC, while for the DC component of the IL average will go straight to the output. So because I out, as you can see, I out plus IC is equal to I L. Okay, so I L average is equal to I out, which is V out over. Okay, in a DC DC converter, especially for the bulk converter. We have uh, what we call uh, CCM operation. So, what is CCM? So, what is CCM? So, sorry. Okay, so CCM operation. CCM is actually referring to the continuous current mode. So what is mean by continuous current mode is actually referring to the IL waveform. So in this case, in this case, this current is actually we consider as a continuous current because the current is always positive. There is no current that goes to the negative. So if the current is always remain positive, so we can call that this part converter is operated under continuous current mode. So we need to make sure that the part converter is operated under CCM, under CCM by uh, making sure that I minimum no less than zero. So in other words, the minimum current value that uh, that is permittable for CCM is when I mean is equal to, equal to zero. Why we need to ensure that our bulk converter to always operate in CCM because if because our relationship with V out is equal to V V D C is only valid for current is CC. So if the current is DCM, so this no longer valid. Okay. Okay. So how to make sure that your bar converter is always CCM is actually by setting I minimum equal to zero. So actually, uh, the CCM operation is mainly uh, affected by the L value. So if you L value is very very small, so your bar converter maybe will become DCM. So how to make how to calculate the L value so that it is always CCM? Okay, so okay, 
So you said, I mean, equal to zero. And we know the equation for the I mean is uh, I n average minus delta I n okay, over two. So as I have noted that not earlier, so delta I n you can choose either delta I n on or delta I n off because the value is the same. So for delta I n on, so this is BD minus B out over L BDC multiplied with BT, Y for delta I out is negative B out over L one minus E T. Okay, and we know that I n average is equal to your I out which is B out over so I write down here B out over R and then minus so for delta L I use uh, this equation but please note we only uh, take the value okay not the sign okay so negative uh, B out over 2L 1 minus D so T is actually our frequency so we put here frequency okay Okay, and since I mean the minimum is uh, zero, okay, so we can actually uh, put this. Okay, okay, I don't know how. Okay, it's okay. So just uh, replace this. Since uh, this, so this one may become okay. So this one will become uh, we out one minus d two l f. Okay, so this one put L as the main function so I will obtain that L is equal to uh, R 1 minus D over 2 F is it? Okay, so since this L will determine the minimum current, so we put this as a uh, mean. And just for to make sure the L actual that we use for our circuit, we usually equal to 10 times of the L minimum. Okay, just to make sure that uh, the current is CC. Okay, so that is all the about the analysis of the inductor current. So we will continue on the analysis of the output voltage ripple. So we meet again in the next lesson. Thank you very much for your uh, attention.